Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. Let's get right into it. This world ain't nothing to play with. I put my guns in my wheel. I can't go backwards for no one. Can't go backwards for no one. My mirror called me a giant. I said it take one to no one. And this video is about the best badges for, for big men, for a center, for whatever, man. Like, I, I know that y'all be needing help with this, man. And I know a lot of people probably don't believe and a lot of the stuff that I do, because I do do a lot of 2K, um, what you would call, what you call it, uh, 2K um, science or 2K knowledge, 2K stuff. Bro, listen to me. If you don't do nothing else, man, listen to me when I'm telling you about these badges. I have gone in and I have looked and I have seen and I have tested and I have done all types of stuff. If you are an outside center, this is the best badge setup for you. Why is this the best badge setup for you? I'm gonna go through badge by badge and I'm going to break it down to you and explain to you why this is the best badge setup that you can get. I mean, it just is what it is. All right, box. Box is a badge that a lot of people don't believe in. A lot of people feel like box is like, eh, I, I don't need box. I know how to box out. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. I can box out without this badge, bro. Let me tell you what. I've tried box on go and it's fine. The reason I put it on Hall of Fame is because this game is a badge driven game. If you don't have on the right badges, you can't unlock certain animations. And if somebody's got on a badge and their ratings trump your ratings, then, then you're going to be in some trouble. Let me show you what my guys' ratings are right now. This is where I am. My defensive rebound is 88. What? Oh, it's because I got, um, uh, what you call it? It's supposed to be 90. It'll be like 90 once I hit 99.9. .9, but, bro, I, I, I'm, who going to be at 99.9, right? Like, it's just not going to happen. So, my defensive rebound is an 88. My, um, my offensive rebound is 83. Not really going to be able to get offensive boards unless it's somebody down there with less than what I got. Hey, it is what it is. Interior defense, 93. It'll be 95 when I get to 99.9, .9, but that's not really going to happen. Um, perimeter defense is like 70. Lateral quickness. You know, I got I to gotta get myself to 99 so I can boost all these stats. The whole point of it is this. It's dudes out there with 99 rebounding, bro. That 11, re if you, if there's, if two rebounding, I mean, if two speed, like somebody got 90, 97 speed and 99 speed, that's a big difference. If you got, if you play lock, you play all that stuff, bro, you know that that's a huge difference where they just be busting. Like, it's, you can't keep up. It's almost impossible to keep up with somebody if they got 99 speed and you got 97. And you damn sure ain't stopping them inside. So that's why I did what I did with this. This is why you need box. Especially if you got this bill. If you if you're an inside center and you already got 99 rebounding, you're not really gonna need box. I don't have 99 rebounding. Therefore, I need box. So I put box on and I put it on the highest level because you can't even box out a bigger center with more rebounding if you don't have it on platinum. There are some times where where I'm sitting there and I have to box out these centers and I have to scream, I got him boxed, T. Some one of y'all got to come get the rebound because you learn from playing the game that there are certain times they're just not going to allow you to get the rebound. And if I release this player, he's going to go to the rim and get the board. I'm not going to get the board. So box is an absolute must for me on, on Platinum or on Hall of Fame, man. It's just... It's, Sometimes they don't even let you compete for the rebound if you don't got this on, man. And I just know this is something that I noticed. It's going to help you one or two rebounds a game. Whatever, man. Do what you got to do is what it is. Rebound Chaser. Rebound Chaser is one of those badges where I just feel like it just... It, I need every advantage that I can get. If I can't get the board, and like I said, my rebounding is still only... At, 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 at 88, it's not over 90. It gets 90, and if I get a rebound and boost, maybe I can get it. But, like, with this guy, man, these are the two things that he are the, he is the weakest at doing. My interior defense is strong. My strength is strong. Everything else is strong. Rebounding is really his only deficiency. My defense is strong, all that. I have to sure up the rebounding as, as much as I can, so that's why I have these two badges on. Rim protector on goal. My, my interior defense is already 93. Um... 
go up to 95 when I get into 99. Don't really care about that. If I time this right, rim protector, it, you, you're going to be able to stop a whole lot of stuff inside, a whole lot of nonsense. I noticed that the only thing that rim protector on Hall of Fame does, it gives you a few different animations, but you don't, like those animations sometimes, they, they take you out of position and they do stuff like that. And so you end up jumping and he'll do aggressive jumps when you really don't want him to. So I leave my rim protector on goal. That's what I'm doing right now. Chase down artist. I got it on bronze, man. The only reason I have it on bronze is because I just want to unlock the ability to chase things down. I just want to unlock the ability to chase people down, to be a chase down artist. I just want to unlock that ability. If you don't have it on, you're really not gonna get many chase downs. With, with, with rim protector on gold and chase down on, on bronze, if I'm close, I'm blocking it from behind. Very seldom do I not get the chase down if I'm close. I want to experiment on putting it up higher. Let me know if for a big man, I don't think it helps out a big man. I definitely know having it on Hall of Fame or whatever with my guard, I block everything from behind. It's, it's really easy, but for the big man, you get such goofy animations that it really doesn't help you out all that much intimidator on hall of fame is a must just because sometimes those guys inside they try to just body you and they just try to do what they try to do um and like i said i got 95 interior defense but i want you to have no chance to make those shots and like i said when you make those shots when they go up with it you really want to be able to 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 fend them off and try to get the board again man and do all this stuff so it's it's, it's tough that's why i put intimidate on hall of fame because you're not making shots and plus when i'm on the perimeter i don't want people making shots in my face like that either and a lot of times we bait people in because the guard thinks that he can just shoot in my face but he can't just shoot in my face because i got 70 perimeter defense or whatever so i'm loving that i got it clamps clamps is a controversial badge on centers I put clamps on because I don't want people that should not be dribbling the ball to be dribbling the ball in my face. I.e., a lot of times what centers will do, they see another center, they take them on the perimeter, and they try to go by them with, with, with very low ball handling. I don't want that to happen to me, therefore I put on clamps. If you put, this is the difference, you can put clamps on, on bronze and you will stop the guy in three steps. If you put it on silver, you stop him in one step. So, so he tries to dribble pass and you body him up, he, he immediately picks up the ball. If you put it on bronze, he'll take, he'll do his initial step and then he's gonna take two more steps, fumble, and then he'll get it. A lot of times they'll already be under the rim. That's why I leave it on silver. You don't need it on anything more than silver. You put it on gold, you'll stop him immediately, but I just didn't feel like it was worth it. Pogo stick. I put pogo stick on, on silver. Um, you just have to be more cognizant of the jumps that you do when you put it on silver. You can, if you put it on Hall of Fame, you can just jump willy nilly. But a lot of times I feel like that if I'm just paying attention or I'm not just spamming it, if I'm paying attention and see who I'm playing against, then you know, they might score on you the first time, but then you realize if it's a person that's gonna pump fake, pump fake, or if they're just gonna go straight up. Once you realize that, that's all you need it on is, uh, is on silver and you're good to go, man. Moving truck and post lockdown. Now, a lot of people probably think that these are useless badges and they crazy, but bro, let me tell you something you're gonna go against a lot of interior forces and you're gonna go against a lot of uh, all those guys the uh, paint beasts all that stuff man you're gonna go like every game not gonna be a comp game so a lot of times you're gonna be going against guys that have interior forces and uh paint beasts and all types of stuff like that man and you will be able to stop let me see if i can find something real quick those two badges will allow you to, to stonewall people i don't know if i got if I got a um if I got any if I got any footage of me playing like a paint beast or something like that, man. Let me see what this guy is right here. Because I, I think this will Alright, here we go. Paint beast right here, right? Look. Alright, they get the ball. Look at that. He can't do nothing. Another dude. Look, I got two guys down here. Nothing. You can't do nothing. Look, it's two, two centers on me. Watch what they're going to try to do. They're going to just try to push the paint right right here. Boom. Clamps. He dead. He can't move. He can't post. He can't do nothing. Look, he can't even make a post move because I got post move lockdown on. He couldn't make a post move or do anything. And then, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm going to step back. And trades up. Green Bean Money Team. Splash down. And, like, uh, so I, because I got moving truck and post, and post move lockdown, watch this. Boom. Clamps. Stop him instantly. Look, people that should not be dribbling the ball against me, they not gonna be able to dribble the ball against me. Three second violation, he can't do nothing in there. Now y'all might say it cause he a bum. Hey, it is what it is, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that. 
I can only wax the asses that have been placed before me. Check it out one more time. Okay, they out of bounds. We're not even worried about that. Look, coming back down. Look, look at me. Look, look, look. Clamps. You see how I'm able to stop, stop a guard? This is a guard. Boom, clamps. You done. Now look. Now look, he dead. Look, he gonna go up. He can't do nothing. Another guy down there. Obviously, he gonna score that. It's three of them down there. But because of intimidating stuff, this is how these badges work together, man. Like I said, you gotta just... This is why I do what I do. I tried to stop him with clamps, but he already went up. That damn fancy footwork. Fancy footwork be killing me, bro. Not even gonna lie. Look, getting back down the court. Defensive speed. Boom, look, boom. He can't do nothing, man. That's that intimidator and, uh, you know, all the, this, this is all the badges. This is when everything works together the right way, man. This is when everything works together the right way. Let me see what happened down here. Coming down here. Look at this dude. Okay, that was just good defense by my other guy right there. Look. Look, watch this. Boom. Intimidator. It is what it is, man. Like, I need all the help I can get in certain situations just because I don't have a guy like these dudes. They, they, I mean, I'm not saying that they were good players, but what I am saying is playing against two centers, I was able to hold my arm. I was completely comfortable. Look, I'm getting ready to get there and cut him off. Look, he already knew what time it was. Clamps was going to cut him off. Look at that. It is what it is, man. The game almost over with. Watch this right this. Boom, boom. I I used to like um the other bass. Look at, look at, look at, look at. That's what I be saying. Get that shot out of here, boy. Wow. Okay, six, six percent. Whatever. Anyway, green bean money team trades up. Splash down. So I get using this bad setup, man. I am, look, I'm not going to get every rebound. That should have got blocked, man. I don't even understand why that didn't get blocked. But like I said, man, using this bad setup, I'm able to accentuate my, my positives and uh and hide some of my my weaknesses and stuff man like i said that was just a quick ass game or whatever man let me know what y'all think down in the comments man if you have an undersized center or something like that or even a regular center if you got 30 badges try this bad setup at least throw clamps on silver and then if you have high strength you only need to put these on bronze nobody gonna be able to back you down they're just gonna i got 99 strength so when they back me up like before i put it on people could just back me straight down now that i got that on that's not happening no more they back and then they done. So y'all know what time it is, man. Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, man. Is this a good bad setup? What bad setup do y'all guys use on your center? And um, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Oh, yeah. Jim Stars. What's going on, everybody? Hey, that's, my, that's our startup song in the morning. Y'all know what it is. And I'm out. Peace. Keep that burner beside me so I ain't ever alone. Look, buddy, I got no worries like Puma, Simba, Timon. I love the smell of new money. They ought to make a cologne. I ought to go get that patented once I finish this song.